No. No. Mm -mm. no. All right, we we're good. Your, we can say your name, though, right? Well, we're live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. I guess we're live. And we're for, and, and for. Right there. Is that it? Where? Maybe that's not it. We got six. Six people watching we got right now. Six. All right. Nine. I'll find it. Hold on. Well, hey, we're live. Welcome to Toys from the Past. It's a Back to the Toy Store episode number six. Five. What? Is it five? Episode five. five. Why does it say six on one? It says five. Oh, okay. Episode <laughs> five. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're cold here, yeah. right from the start. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. on the Empire Strikes Back episode. Yeah. Yes. How fitting. That is oh. fitting. Yes. How fitting. And no one understands why it's episode five. Oh, why is it? Yeah. yeah. And Mike's got his volume up after he told everybody to turn the ringers off. Yeah. <laughs> I turned my ringer off. My volume. This is. is we're getting better at this, folks. We, uh, uh, it's Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Do you have an application? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, 23 Ooh. people already. Look at that. 23. Joel Reynolds, our Aloe guy, is on. Todd Anthony, what's up? Hey, Joel. Troy. Troy's on. Troy. We, Troy. We, invited, we invited Troy to stay. Right, for the he show. Was just here, not a chance. But he's, he's, uh, he's too shy, I guess. No, he said he was going to go home and watch it on the big screen. You oh, can do that sweet. now. Gus is with us. Let's go big screen. I. Facebook Watch has that app on the smartphones Rex and on your, your Roku's. Rex, your sister watches every week. Yeah, my she sister does. watches every week. We got Joe watching. That's oh, Rex's, there's Mo. Rex's fan. He says he's disappointed <laughs> Jared's not this? drinking an iced coffee. Oh, oh, I got it. It's yeah, I got right it. over here. <laughs> I got it. I got it. It's with the four least ones. ones. Dave yeah. Merklinger has <laughs> checked in. Nice coffee. It's been <laughs> hauling this one around for six hours or so. I've been waiting just for tonight. Yeah, sorry, Mo. I... This is from Meadowlark, which is still open right now, curbside only. I yeah. pulled up, they ran her out to me. Yeah. All right, today's uh, I don't know. Oh. Today's show brought to you by the Grotta, even though they don't know it, but uh, we did get their <laughs> taco bar. It was uh, twenty five bucks for twenty five tacos, and you can choose hard shell, soft shell. Uh, oh, they give you a crap nice. load of meat and cheese and lettuce, a sauce, good stuff. So. Get the Grotta. They got great food. Grotta, Scooters Coffee House. Also Scooters? had Scooters today, yeah, too. Had Scooters for breakfast this morning. So. We got all these sponsors. <laughs> yeah, we got Scooters. all these sponsors, and they just don't know it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Scooters knows it. Taco Joe. <laughs> Mike's got his own drink <laughs> over there. Hey, there's, there's John. Holy John Harris. Missy's checking in. <laughs> Dan Muller's checking in. That's My mom's so watching. Brandon Strait is watching. Hey, Arthur Brandon. Baker. There's Arthur Baker. All right. We got a show. We got 40 people watching. All right, here we go. All right. We got uh, we'll start off with a, a couple new things. I, I was not able to find any birthdays this week. If you got a birthday, go ahead and no one had a birthday. post it on the comments. Uh, I can only find the people that friend me personally. Right. They won't show me your birthday on the Toys from the Past site. No, so none of those five people have a birthday. Brandon no. said he just drove by but figured we wouldn't want company. No, uh, he's right. Which Brandon, though? Brandon's great. Mm, you can be on if okay. you want, Brandon. It's all right. He might be a special right. guest. Yeah, we can have special guests. <clears throat> Isn't he a railroader also? He is a railroader. He breaks the two railroader rule, though. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> UP guy, too. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, a little bit of new news. New news. Uh, Beth Geiger. Yeah. Her son, Ian, learned how to ride a bike this week. Awesome. Oh. No oh, birthday, okay. but he rides a bike now. So. Ian's a member of the Toy Soldiers. Congratulations, yeah. Ian. Yep. Um, He's growing up so fast. Brandon's yeah. birthday was May 2nd. Happy birthday, Brandon. We missed it. Missy Hamilton's oh, daughter's birthday, birthday is first. tomorrow, and hers is the 19th. So. I would like to say happy birthday to Hayden's mom from Jared. <laughs> When's your mom's birthday? Yes. May 1st. May 1st. Yeah. Oh, we missed yeah. it. We missed Hayden's mom. I, I rang the doorbell all day with that May basket. No one? Nothing. Well, she was probably doing teas. Well, she was well. watching on the ring doorbell. Right? Yes, yeah, she was. <laughs> 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 it was an answer. Does the ring doorbell like eliminate May Day then? Because you see right away, you're like, I'm not going to run after that person. <laughs> Gus's, <laughs> not, yeah. Gus's daughter learned how to ride a bike this week too. All the awesome. uh, I just got the notification one year ago today. Ollie rode the bike for the first time. See, this this is a good time for kids to learn how to ride bikes because right. parents aren't really doing that much. Right. Have them bike well, let's have them roller skate too, because kids can't skate with a crap. Like, I can roller skate. You know, no one roller skates at all anymore. Is it? Yeah. 
I do. How many people would like another roller skating rink in Lincoln? We were talking about We've that. We've been talking about it. So, okay, if you, you never know. Your hands, let us roller know. skating from the past. Uh, Basically. <laughs> we're at a brother's skate zone. Joe's little brother's oh, birthday yeah. was May 1st. Is that Ian? That's Ian? Talking Ian? About us. Yeah, Ian. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Ian. We have a lot of Ian's. We do. Jeff Frederick checking in. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Eric Pearson says, Roller Derby Jared. Oh, See? Right. Exactly. Oh, Gus says his daughter still won't go to the toy store since last Halloween. Oh. Well, I, I, was, we, uh, I was sitting, acting like a mannequin. And, uh, were, you, were you the clown? I was in my clown outfit with <laughs> oh, the Freddy mask great. and stuff, and she came up to me, and I moved, and that's great. It was all over. She started crying. She hated. She hates me now. Got a bad Yelp review. Yeah, oh, no, bad Yelp review yeah. for that one. Yep. Lost a customer. Yeah. yeah. From how old? Five. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bad Yelp review from five. Years. Jim Frederick running for city council of Papillion, I believe. Vote for Jim Frederick if you're from Papillion. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. Right. Robert Nelson says has to have an arcade also. I agree. Well, yeah. Yeah. Put a, Tony says put a rink in the store and start selling tasties again. Wheels, deals, and meals. Where is Tony? Was that Tony Graham? Is he hiding in the back? Was that Tony Graham? Just here. <laughs> yeah. Wheels, deals, and <coughs> wheels, deals, and meals. Tony Graham has a featured wheels, segment today meals. too. Yeah, but he, copy already. Well, I'm going to do it for him because he's camera shy. But yeah, he doesn't like being on camera. <laughs> no. All right. Well, All right. Well, well no more Go birthdays or anything. Um, I guess we'll start off with new stuff in the store. Whoa. Oh. Right. We got so much. Uh, Beans, this is episode five. We're going to start off with. The Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. We got Wave 1 in. I know Wave 2's hitting some retail stores out there right now. I don't know why. It's confusing. Uh, so we got Han Solo, Princess Leia. I'll just scoot them right over here. This is the open space. We got our cameraman Taylor here. He's McLovin. He's uh... Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I don't know if we get to use Taylor or not. Well, I told so myself yeah, to not uh, forget Mother's Day is coming up. How did oh, I do good. that? Yeah, Mother's Day is uh, next week. My wife's on my account at home. I think she is too, and these are ideal Mother's Day presents. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just... Yeah, there you go. That's, that's right. just... Yeah. Yeah. about spending money Mother's on stuff Day like this. Mother's Day Sunday? Sunday. Ian and Julian, yeah, these, are, uh, yeah. these are good Mother's yeah. Day uh, presents. Ian and Julian, uh, yeah, Julian. text Rex and let him know yep. what you <laughs> might want. Yep. Uh, we've got plenty of these in, guys. We just got Rex these delivers. in. Um, I, I will deliver to the house. I believe we showed Tarna last week. We, we, did, we, we did. did show Tarna. We still yeah. have a couple left. Turn Talked up. about the variant though that we did get the gray yeah, hair. Yeah, we did get the gray hair variant. The the new ones shipping out were the blonde hair ones. And uh, somehow we got in early and got the gray hair variant. So right. if you want one of her, come get her. Oh, hey. Frank Walbrick says, Eric, what's up, dude? Oh, he's talking to Eric Pearson. The, 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 oh, guys are, that's that's Mark's brother. They're having conversations with themselves they on are, our yeah. channel. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Good for you guys. Leave it, leave it to Frank. <laughs> yeah. Leave it to, leave to Frank to get a conversation going in our Rizzo, chat. The Rizzo Carlton Hotel and Casino. You don't right. say there. No, you don't. Know, bed bugs. Bed bugs. Bed All bugs. Right. The really one of the coolest things we got in this week. I got him in yesterday, and we've already gone through two cases of these. We got one case left. So if you're looking for uh, baby Yoda, the child, uh, I have 13 of them left. That's it. I mean, they. Out of, out of 36. If we were open, we'd have none. Out of 36. Yeah, if we were open, these would be gone already by now. I am here 12 to 3, Monday through Friday. You guys can swing on down, ring the doorbell. I will let you in to buy some stuff. So that's. Uh, that, is, that is a great, that is a great piece. I yeah. think we're going to review it tonight, too. We're going to open this so. one? That, one. that might be what we do in the old. Frank says, shut up, JD. Oh, <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, T-800, NECA re-released these. So we got a couple cases of these guys. My reflection. There we go. There we go. Terminator 2, 19, well, 2016 they released those the first time. Uh, I believe it was 2000. 2015, 2016. It's about five years. I got mine up in Toys R Us in uh, Omaha. My, you can go all the way to Omaha to get it? Yeah. My mom, yeah, my mom wants a baby Yoda, so guys, we're down, down to 12. 12. We're down to 12. Just took a hit. I'll tell you what. Andy, that one back there. Yeah, we just got that one in. Oh, yes. Now, these just came in today. 
that is the uh, plush 11 inch baby Yoda, and he's just cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's, <clears throat> the funny, the cool thing is, this is Mattel's very first Star Wars toy. toy. They, yep. uh, it's always been Hasbro or Kenner, and Mattel has the uh, license on that one. How many leads? How many leads? Uh, we have these two. Right. Uh, I I have four left. Four left. I sold two today already. So. Okay, two sold today. Four left. Yes, yeah. three left. Yeah. So all these all these people that say they uh, want baby Yodas, I I I have twelve left available, and uh, come down and see me twelve to three tomorrow. I am limiting them one per person because I want everybody to be able to get a chance to get them. I haven't let anybody buy more than one, so... We're being fair about we're it. We're being fair about it. I did order three more cases, but they probably won't be in until June or July. So, uh, they may come in at the end of the month, but it's hard to say. And no, we're not torturing children in the Something background. In the back. <laughs> He's over there playing with Fisher Price, so... <laughs> Knock it off! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yes, we got uh, uh, the 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 small black series childs are twelve ninety nine. Yes, uh, the eleven inch plush are twenty nine ninety nine. As you can see right there on that bait on the uh, child, that little piece right there. You may have to zoom in for that second cam. That, there you go. That'll be worse than Princess Leia's gun. Yeah. That'll be the most lost thing ever. Oh okay. yeah. Don't even let your kids open it unless they're over a table. It was like the, the post that says in 30 years, that's going to be the most sought after piece. And then it's a little stick shift. Exactly. A little <laughs> knob, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful figure. We're going to review it here in a little bit. But we got more stuff. To show. All right, more yep. stuff. Back to the new stuff. Another Terminator. Uh, Sarah Connor, Dark Fate. I don't remember if we had her last Wednesday or not. I don't we, think so. Uh, we, we actually got her on like Thursday. Did we? Okay, yeah. so we, we have not shown Did this we? one yet. We had her last week. Did we I have it last week? I was pretty sure we had Hayden's her the youngest week. one here with the best memory, so I'll go with that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had What did we do last week? Well, we'll, I was checking it out. We'll, we'll show her, we we'll show her again. Week. I know, we're trying to sell No, we did Tarna and we did those other Missy, Terminators. yeah, I'm here 12 to 3 tomorrow. So. We did those other Terminators on the toy anybody show. anybody sees anything place. here tonight that we show and they want to buy, they can come in tomorrow and purchase. 12 right. to 3. We're going to have a line of um, other people. We Where's didn't it? have this guy because he was apparently in the bottom of the box and I didn't I see him. Through. Yeah, dug, so, dig a little deeper. Yeah, these these are the three. Well, I didn't go quite deep enough. Deep. Yeah. Man, a little deeper. Uh, G, G guys, G, right oh, G. We're talking about getting those out of the bottom of the box. All right, so those are the three that came in the case Jeez. last week. Good show. Yeah. So we got those in. If you're in the Terminator. All right. They're awesome. All right. So. Yeah. The elephant on the table. Oh yeah. Uh oh. All this right. is All what right. a lot of people have been waiting for. The new. Six inch Black Series G.I. Joe figures from yeah. Hasbro. G.I. Joe Classified. G.I. Joe Classified Series. Uh, when we have them for sale, they have a street date. When we have them for sale, they will be $21.99 each. If you have any questions about them, just PM me or give me a call. So, Troy says you need to have Rex write show notes. Show notes. Show notes. So what? six. Show notes. Uh, Did I'll, you write anything? I'll write show notes. What's your content? It just says things. <laughs> it just says thanks. <laughs> we did this last week. Thanks for watching. That's what we had for our notes. Uh, yeah. few birthdays. So, uh, this, is, this is wave one. There's already three waves planned. Not all I can tell you about that. Uh, there's, there's an exclusive coming out. Um, oh, that might be a little too much we can talk about right there's, now. There's a couple of Star Wars Black Series figures I can talk about that are going to be coming out. Uh, let's see, coming in this week, I have some more Baby Yoda stuff. If you've seen the ones where you got the frog sticking out of his mouth, I think they're about yay size. Yeah, they're about, a, I want to see what size is. A couple, yeah, couple inches, couple yeah. Inches uh, we've got those coming in towards the end of the week, maybe, maybe Monday. I'm the tracking, FedEx is way behind right now. And uh, let's see, uh, some new stuff that was announced was uh, 
Black Series Luke Dagobah with Yoda, and it's got the backpack so that you can stick them in the backpack. So, oh, that's Dagobah the, training. In the hand. Yes, he can stand he can on stand. his hand. So it's yes. almost a, oh, not this yeah. hand. It's almost and like the Yoda's beast. face looks a lot better, like the skull. Almost like the beast, though. Yeah. Almost like the beast from. Well, we're gonna have a standoff with it then. Legends, where you can stand back. Well, the we're beast doing it. I'll, well, I'll bring the beast and we'll go head to head with them. But yeah, it was uh, it May, May the fourth was on Monday. Was May yeah. The 4th was weird. May the fourth, yeah. It was yeah. weird not having the party. I know, usually we have cake and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think what we'll do once all this blows over, we'll have a big party and do a big sale. That would be awesome. Yeah, we'll make up for. That'd be See, fun. We, we got our anniversary good. party in this year. Yeah, so, we yeah, did. We just yeah. missed the May the 4th party. The cake but knife they, was ready and everything. For Jeff, Jeff, they did Jeff there are two snake eyes in the case. They're the same figures. So, Boba's white helmet, That yeah, that was a release that. Uh, like, they announced. There's that, the Camino Trooper. Yeah, the, the Camino Trooper. I haven't looked at like a Stormtrooper there. I didn't do my due diligence today. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's what a, about show prep? There's a well, I had to run over and show Mitch some toys. They're doing a yeah, two pack there's with a, a Zuckus and Forlong. Yeah, yeah. I'm on card like two pack, fortieth anniversary yeah. vintage cool. Black Series. Yeah, they're basically Zuckus like Zuckus and Forlong. Yep. Yeah. And when are they coming out? They are uh, Amazon exclusives. Oh Good. yeah, Amazon really got the. And but oh, they were God. they were they were released through Hasbro Pulse. Yeah. And yes, I ordered some. I oh, couldn't really? get them uh, wholesale, but I ordered some for myself. So. Got for that one. Group. Oh yes, another new cool. release that just showed up today. today. Entertainment yeah, Earth exclusive Groot. Uh, he's wood grain. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, Pop, yeah, pop vinyl. Pop vinyl. Yeah. So, we don't talk a lot of pops, but there's a lot of people that like pops. Well, well, there's there was a lot of new ones that came in over the over the weekend. So come down. Our pop guys in the food. house right now too. Mark Pierce is a pop guy. That's fine. Go see you. See you, Jason. Yeah. yeah. Losser leaving the show. Jason Losser. Hey -o. Hey -o. <laughs> we bikes. A, we got about a hundred. And Fifty new pops in. Yes, we did. We did. So I mean, a lot of video games, a lot of DC, a lot of comic book in general. Probably put out two hundred pops in the last three days. So the pop hunters put out two hundred fresh ones. And for those that tune in during the week when I do the auctions over at the bingo hall, because we're clearing out some of the warehouse. Uh, I know we had some end at 7 o'clock. I can't look on my phone and get a timestamp. I know we had some last second bids. We had three auctions in tonight. The Tonkas, the Fisher Price, Trains. and the Train Lot. Tomorrow night we have five endings. Trains. We have the <laughs> Slot Car Lot, tons of Slot Car sets. Uh, we have the NASCAR Lot. Yep. Johnny West Lot. Uh, model Kit Lot. There's a lot of Earnhardt stuff in and the NASCAR a, set. A huge action figure lot. There's every kind of action figure in there. There's vintage Star Wars. There's Sectars, Centurions. It, it's like awesome. it's three tables full of figures there's for an opening bid of two hundred bucks. There's so if you're three hundred figures there. There's at least three hundred figures. If you're into uh, yeah, it's the whole table. If you're into customizing and stuff, that's, we just laid them out. I didn't cherry pick or nothing. nothing. We just Something. laid them out, took pictures. You can go well, look at a video. Oh yeah, I did, <laughs> I, I, I did take one. Two hundred ninety-nine. That's what I do. Yeah, two hundred ninety-nine figures. Ashley Boyd says hi, Mark. You know, right. <laughs> <laughs> they had every figure you could imagine in that lot. They have absolutely everything. Yeah. So yeah, go yeah, check that out. Spawn and quite a bit. There's original Spawn figure in there. I, I, yeah, well. we got that big gorilla Spawn guy in there. He's yep. in there. Oh yeah, well, it kind of looks like the there was. Gorilla gorilla gorilla. Gorilla. There, there, I don't think the, the action figure lot got a bid yet. Really? Well, somebody's yeah. Gonna steal it, so somebody is going to yeah. steal that on the opening bid. Speaking of Spawn, tomorrow is the last day for the uh, Kickstarter. Explain the, the Kickstarter to the people the, at home. That the are... Kickstarter for the uh, McFarlane original Spawn it yeah. went up to two and a half million dollars. So there's a lot of extra goodness coming with these new figures or this new figure. Uh, you can get original or the new look. Uh, there's a three pack. You, there's so many different accessories right now. Real chains. 
So I was able to pre-order one, the original ones, and now I'm getting a, uh, because they made so much money, uh, you get the, the painted necro sword on top of an extra. Brandon says hands. Friday is the last day. On the 8th. Oh yeah, it is the 8th. Yeah, sure. Friday is the last day. So we got two more days. It'll probably get... That's why you need to write down Show notes. Show notes. <laughs> Show notes. Yeah. I was the only one at pre-production, by the way. It's me. And the postcard hey, guy. I was busy selling <laughs> Baby Yoda. Me yeah. and the postcard guy. We're the only one that showed up for pre-production. We were talking. We were talking. There was tacos. At the production meeting today that I had with myself and Oliver, you know, we covered, uh, we're going to do an obscure toy line. Okay. And to cover an obscure toy line, this is a set of six. And if you're a Saturday Night Live fan, which... I used to watch Saturday Night Live. Like guys, we talked Back Saturday Night Live, Second City. I, I love sketch comedy. I always have. These are cone heads. And peaked, what, late late 80s was mm -hmm. the run with cone heads on right. SNL. I think the movie was 93. 93 for the movie. And don't be wrong, Mark, because we need money for the pinball machine. We're out sure of quarters. Oh, uh, speaking of sketch comedy, um, Bob Odenkirk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Show. Mr. Show is coming back. Mm -hmm. So this is the obscure, uh, Tony Graham was talking to me about doing this, doing an obscure toy line. You know, these Conehead figures, made by Playmate. Playmates made these. We have all six of them. So we're selling it as a set of six. So <laughs> Pretty cool. Yep. It's on the car, a couple of them are so, on So that kind of looks like a Klingon body from the Star Trek line. Like that Zephram Cochran. <laughs> they just used the exact mold. They might have used yeah. the same molds. I don't know. <laughs> might, might have been a Robin Hood Princess. That could be. Yeah. That could be Captain Kirk all by himself right there. I thought it was Sheldon from Big Bang, but it'd that be too early. Look like Sheldon a little just, bit. Yeah. Just, just put Big Bang Theory on it. No one will know. Yeah, exactly. Now, who, who was that? I can't. Um, Dusty checking actor? in. How's it going? Well, the Dusty? INS agent. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the actor was. Was Phil Hartman? In was that one? Uh, David Spade was one of them, and then the other guy. That looks like Phil Hartman. Was maybe. Phil Hartman? No. R.I.P. Right, Phil. It was, um, Tough deal with that. Yeah. Really. John, John Lovitz. Agent Seedling. No. Yeah, agent. that's the INS uh, agent. I know that. The one that tries to throw him out. All right. So if anybody knows who played so. Agent Seedling, go ahead and post it up there. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. We'll take it. Yeah. Uh, Michael McKeon says Tony Graham. I can almost kind of sort of see it. I think Tony is probably right on that one. Yeah, he, I can sort of see it. Conehead stuff, William Ford says, how much are the Conehead? <laughs> $49.99 for the set. $49.99, you get the whole set. Set of six. Like, three of them are on punch. Set of six. Yeah. Four. Five. Oh, they're all on punch. Good. Yes, he was in Spinal Tap. He was also <laughs> Lenny of Lenny and Squiggy. He was, yeah. Which takes me back to Happy Days. Look at that! We connected it all. Oh, did you show it yet? Got my new hat. We did the system. Bought this yesterday. It's new to him. I had to. I, I re. Yeah, it's new to me. It's from the '70s, but I, I realized uh, in the pre pre show there uh, that the bald spot was getting a little more bald. Really? So yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah. That's well, right. Michael McKean. Well, Michael McKean. Michael yeah. McKean. Where's Where's he been? Because we said that five minutes ago. Well, so, <laughs> um, you know, uh, Facebook delayed. Live. There was a delay. He's just reading. He's taking show notes over here. Yeah, he's, he's taking show notes. notes. Production. And Tony said that like two minutes ago, and we repeated. Well, I don't have that. Don't, don't worry. So two minutes. You're over there sleeping on the customer information. Taking center. show notes. Don't worry. Two minutes. <laughs> Tony will say. I already said that. I think Tony we'll watched. Back to it. <laughs> so what was that conversation we were having earlier? About, okay. Uh, television. Television. We're going to talk a little oh, bit about yeah. television. We're having. And feel free to chime in. Yes. The Goldbergs, yeah. Mark insulted the Goldbergs live at the pre-show feeding, <laughs> which got kind of out of hand at the top. Yeah, yeah. It Let's got clarify. A little it got it's a, a great heated. show. It's just going going downhill. It's Jump the Shark. Okay. We yeah. has Jump the Shark. We've okay. lost some good characters. If, if you agree with Mark that Recasting Goldbergs has the Jumped the Shark, it's Jump the Shark. Let us know. Give us hey, your uh, feelings. The the we're all friends. I don't. Okay, I agree that I don't like recasting. Recasting the girl. Kill them off. Yeah. We lost Lainey. We did. Yeah. And who didn't Who's like Lainey? Off? And I did the like. Spinoff is not doing well. Okay. All right. Well. But it's a great show. I'm just saying, it's kind of run its course. Name some other shows that ran their course. 
uh, how we've talked about this. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother was good for the first like yeah. five. Yeah, you get up to like season six, and then it, it goes really very story based. Jason Segel yeah. was just holding out for more cash. David, yeah. Tony, Tony's hiding in the back. That room. last season is a whole wedding. <laughs> like that's Hayden and Mark. Yeah. They don't have name tags. Oh well, I, the, the production value is like the, my, Timothy yeah. James agrees. Thank you. See, there's yeah. one. I'm maybe the only one I get. So. Ashley okay. Wheaton Brazel in the house. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. I don't know what we're giving away yet. Yeah. Still watching That Still reminds me. She, you know, she always reminds me. We better start looking for presents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. she cleaned she up. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And I, I, okay. Breaking Bad five seasons out it was perfect. Perfect. Timothy James says Dexter. Dexter too Perfect. long. Okay. Dexter was okay. horrible at the end. Okay. It, it went about a season too long. Yes. Maybe two. It could have wrapped it a little and early. It's kind of renowned for one of the worst finales of all time. Do you, you know why I love Dexter? Plus, well, it was awesome. It, it was a great show. It was dark, but, yeah. yet, but yet had humor. Right. And my wife hated it. Really? <laughs> and you got to watch it on your own. <laughs> so you watched no, it. No, I watched it at night. Oh, Michael C. Hall played Dexter is also in Six Feet Under, which, which is also oh. a fantastic show. Six Feet Under, that was a good He went show. back to back. It is a great show. It's also got one of the best uh, endings for a show that they've ever, you know, it's kind of renowned. Okay, so now, yes, yeah. wow. Dexter, two seasons too long. Yes. Ben Tiverti says Dexter, worst ending ever. Hey, Ben. Hi, Ben. He's a fan uh, of the show. No, Big fan, fan of the show. Ben Tiverti, thank you, Ben, for tuning in. Dave yeah. Merkley here says Lost had the worst ending. Okay, Lost, Lost was very long bad. again. They, they also admitted they didn't know what they were doing. They were just making it up at, towards the end. Did they have something to do with the strike, though, or what happened to uh, Lost? That, I think, played a part in it, too. Yeah, the actor strike, kind of. I, I watched the first season of Lost, and then I lost interest. Yeah, because they were just <laughs> lost. Say you lost Play on words. I interest. lost interest. So. There were some good right. seasons in there. Yeah. Now, I, I, I think Family Guy has... Of course, I think family. Well, Tony says back to the. Okay, toy when they store, killed Brian, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, back to the toy when store. Where's all his content? Yeah. Hello. When if they you killed what a, he says, the dog he, and he says the office ran too long as well. Oh so, well. So, okay, but know, if you didn't yeah. tear up at that wedding at the end of the well, office, last season was oh. great. Danny California was amazing. Uh, yeah, Will Ferrell was horrible, but I also do not like Will Ferrell, so I will be in the minority on that one as well. James, James Troy, Spader. yes, The Bachelor ran its course before that? it even aired. So, <laughs> have you seen the, the Bachelor? That show never, been, never should have been yeah. made. That, that is the dumbest show in the world. Yeah. Which I started community. I would say that. I got Survivor to watch tonight, yeah. and it's in its 40th season. I'm still hanging out. Mo, so Mo says Coronavirus 2020 is the worst ever. It is pretty bad. <laughs> but you get this great content out of it. You know, Dusty says like, Nip yeah. Tuck. I love okay. Nip Tuck. That's a good show. I thought that was a good show. It's pretty uh Again, yeah. I think I watched the first two seasons and then it kind of faded off. Shows are it's kind of like the Blacklist. Guys, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> like the Blacklist. You gotta start cutting shows sometimes, though. Yeah, it's like the Blacklist. Which, I, watched yeah, the, I cut the Blacklist off already. I watched, I watched the first two I, seasons and it was kind of like Black something new list. popped up and it was like. You're still watching Oak Island. Is that are people still Troy, watching that? He told me something. He told me they were going to find something. Man, that's if, they would have, if they would have found something, they would have thrown that thing out. Yeah, chasing the dragon on that one. Yeah. Yeah, always gonna be waiting Troy's probably watching it right now. Eric so Pearson that's... says Survivor the best. Yep, yeah. Eric and I Eric watch, we watch Survivor, Survivor tonight. tonight. Zach Discofano says Californication ran too long. First three seasons, though, were great. Uh, weeds. Not gonna yeah, be weeds was more weeds was good in like the first two seasons, and then it became just ridiculous. Yeah, it was a, more, it got a little more dark. Yeah, you know, one of the shows I miss is uh, Entourage. Yeah, you liked, well, I, I liked oh, that yeah. show. I liked Entourage. I liked it, Lloyd. It, it, was, it, was, it was fun, it was and then the, the movie was kind of a good wrap-up of the whole thing. Yeah. It's kind of how Deadwood was, too. That's my favorite show. Yeah, they time. came out, they came out with another, my favorite show was another movie or season? No, a movie. It was a movie. They did three seasons, then and, gone. And then the, uh, well, the guy who uh, originally worked at HBO was a huge fan, got like a DUI or something. New guy came in, hated the show, so he got the axe, and they were, we're going to do a show, we're not going to do a show. And then like 10, 15 years later, we finally got a movie, which same thing as Entourage, kind of just wraps stuff up a little bit. But yeah. I enjoyed it. I watched it twice oh, in a row. one of my favorite shows of all time. Well, Probably my, my, show. Show, my show I watched was Leverage, and it, it actually ran for five seasons. And they actually got a nomination for a People's Choice Award for mm -hmm. Best Show. Got canceled that same year. And they won the yeah. But uh, I, right right right. I saw yeah, the final five shows. They, 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 they just announced Leverage is coming movie? back with yeah. the original cast. Really? Minus, minus Timothy Hutton, the main Hunt. guy. Yeah. But they, are, they added Noah White. 
Oh. oh, well, that could be good. So it's, it's like the isn't, librarian. Isn't he the librarian yeah. now? Yeah. Like, that could be interesting. Of but all the original cast decided to come back and visit him. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, the offer should've. wasn't made to Tim Curry. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, another show that was great the first couple seasons and, and ended in a way I didn't like was Mad Men. Yeah, I could do, but uh, yes, the first three I, seasons, again, great. Cool. Yeah. Loved it. Yep. I, I don't know if The Walking Dead are still walking around, oh, but I'm not watching that's, anymore. That's one I caught. It's, are they still walking? Time ago. It's like everybody, uh, what was that show on HBO? Um, this is the big yeah, one. The Wire. No. Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones. Yes. See, <laughs> I knew it tells you where one. I'm at because yeah, I've I never was, seen an episode. Literally. I've never seen yeah, it. I watched the I first five like minutes scenes. of the first episode, and I knew it wasn't it was for great. me. But then everybody said the last season was terrible, and the way they ended it. Just made all the fans mad, so I'm yep. glad I never watched it. They ran out of material. What about yeah. The Wire, though? No, Wire's nobody. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, loved The Wire. The, the yeah. newsroom loved, loved the it. Newsroom. Yeah, that was that's what that I liked that, was, that one was up to date footage. Like that was real stories. So I, the newsroom yeah. got cut show. way too. Yes. The newsroom was amazing. Was yes, was. Every episode like, well, up to the last episode. Shot, it was amazing. Uh, Did you so like that, Taylor? It was like the yeah. And I, I own Sports Night, which, yeah. which was another Aaron yeah. Sorkin that, that was a good one. Uh, yeah. That was that was yeah, that was that was was what time are we at here? Oh, we're we got to get our. Well, we've got show content to get to here. All right. Gotta, I want to show their top coffee table book of the week. Rex Jacobs week. Coffee Table Books of the Week. I will have one next week. Oh, wow. Album cover. Album cover album. Some of these are a little bit risky, so I won't be opening it to the first page. I mean, they, hey, they just went for it, didn't they? The very first page was like, whoa. Oh, yeah, no, they, they whoa. went straight in. What album was that? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that one off the air. But, but I mean, I'm talking, this, this book, this was album covers 1985 and before. And, I mean, it just, I mean, for coffee table, you know, excitement. Album cover album. Basically, the book of all the record jackets. And... People that collect records, I mean, they their record jackets are everything to them, and this is all this is all of them basically rock. You know, from, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Grateful Dead getting a little risky there. I got that one flipped in risque. time. Risk, risque. Risque. No risky risque. too though. Look risky. <laughs> Tony's Look making funny as saying risky, so I didn't catch it the first time. I caught it the second time. Risque. I know you went to Waverly. We'll catch it in two weeks. I, a little later than it was I did. Too, a little later it was than a little I risque. did. Thanks, thank you, Tony, for the edit from the other room. <laughs> anyway, we will not be flipping through all the pages because some of them are inappropriate. Mm -hmm. yeah, but as an album cover album book, this thing is awesome. That's pretty cool. Well, it is. It is really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You got the two cover and you know, uh, front and back. Yeah. Going through. yeah. And this was discovered. Uh, uh, in one of the greatest, uh, greatest albums of all time. This was discovered in a pick at the warehouse. So, yeah. the warehouse is a lot of good stuff. Rex, Very are you cool. going to open him? Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and do, do a quick review on The Child. Uh, people are so really we'll wanting this. We'll do review on that, and then we'll let Mark talk about That's it. That's right. Again. We're going to do a review, then we got Mark. Video Mark games. Video up, game segment. Video games, we're going to have fun with that. I'm going to jam him with questions about these games. <laughs> yeah, maybe will look a few hard ones, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm going yeah, to get the hard, hard ones out. Turns. Yep. No so, softballs here. We've got <laughs> no softballs. No, no, All right. No, no, no. So, for you non openers, I know this is hard. All right. So, what we got, he is about an inch and a half tall. Okay. Articulation on the. That's exactly what happens to mine every time. This arm, arm, pop off. arm pops off on all of them. Pops back in? Oh, yeah. Easily. Nice. So, so not broken. He's always, he does, the arm does fall off. Uh, it's got a joint, you know, a ball joint on the, on the head. You turn and swivel like that. The feet, you can actually even move the feet as well. So, yeah, this little guy is so worth it. These I'm not going to open, but if you want to, you know, I, zoom right in there. There's your, uh, there's your pieces and parts. You've got your cup, which he doesn't hold. I can't even. He can't even hold the cup. My fingers are <laughs> larger. That's gonna be difficult. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. You see, 
keep these. Just keep put, the parts put, separate. Put them in a safe. Yeah. Put them in a safe and no. You don't have a safe. Yeah, get a safe. Get a Troy, safe. Troy no. Federson <laughs> says all of them. He can't go. He can't hold any of them. Oh. I got I got mine to hold the ball, safe. but then I don't want to take the ball out because I'll lose it or you know, whatever. But yes, he he's awesome. Uh, one one thing I saw with him is it could be also meant for the three and three quarter inch as well. Yeah, you think so? He's you know he's a little small for the black series, I think, but. You but know, if you I, look at him in the people. TV show, he's, he's pretty little. He is. He this is, is some, the some, exact thing I some thought. Some scenes when make I saw him, him look bigger, and you think Yoda, mm -hmm. but he's pretty little. Yeah, he okay. Really is. He is. He is a. He is a small little, cute little guy. But yeah, like you said, we have twelve of these left. We probably won't have them by the weekend. It sounds like. Right. Probably by tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think we got a lot of people coming in so, between yeah. twelve and three tomorrow. So there he is. Aaron says the child is a must-have. Aaron came in yesterday. Was it yet? Yeah, yesterday and bought one. It is so. the biggest toy so far this year. The biggest little toy story there the biggest is. Biggest little toy story there, there is. is. Yeah. Small toy there is. They they had no clue what they made. Nope. Uh, Dave Lully and uh, uh, John Favreau. Favreau. Lightning in a bottle. Um. So. Anyway, we are going to bring you Mark. He's going to talk Mark about video Pearson. game. Mark Pearson. Yeah. We're going to talk to you about video games and uh, got some video games we're going down to talk here to review. All right. So, how's the I will move out of the way. Spots. That one's mine. Yeah. So I've got a bunch of. He broke the arm off. They pop. Keep some distance here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Arm um, came off again. Says the child has ruined my life in the best way possible. It comes yeah. off in the next episode. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, yeah. He Baby Yoda down arm. to one arm in the next season. <laughs> he loses an arm. Tony says make sure to keep those choking hazards away from Jared. Okay, thank you, Tony. <laughs> Tony is my <laughs> top fan. He's already he does. For a guy that doesn't want to be on the show, he has all the content. All the content. Someday Tony Graham will be on the show, and he will get to rib me firsthand, which is great. Are we just going right into the question? I'm just, I, first of all, why don't you show them what we got there? I put that out there, Dave, just flat out. Well, I, I uh, saw we got this. Uh, this is a 1983 <laughs> Atari game. Uh, a lot of people, if you know anything about Atari, this game has been uh, kind of dubbed uh, the game that killed Atari. Yeah. 82, worst, Christmas worst of 82. Ever. ever. Uh, there's documentaries on it. Um, it was even buried in a landfill yeah, in yep. New Mexico. Uh, it's a fun little documentary, but uh, on, uh, we watched it. It's this on was actually Amazon made. Prime. It's uh, I think it was on uh, Netflix for a little Netflix bit, but uh, this game was actually made in six weeks, um, which is actually pretty impressive considering. But uh, so that one's pretty cool. Um, and then video game crash kind of happened in 1983, and then we actually got all the good stuff in 1985. Yeah, I got it right there. This That's, bad boy right here. I got that for Christmas, 1985. Right there. I was born in 1985, so uh, fa favorite film in 1985. Back to the Future. The Goonies, 1985, Breakfast Club. 85 so. was an awesome year for movies. Um, oh, yeah. 85 if, was just if, a good. If year. You go back and, and you Top find down. the old newspapers yeah, and you find the and you find the movie section. Oh, yeah. Keep those. Yeah. Every weekend. Oh, I'm sure my there was a great movie. Movie. Five, so. Oh yeah! Shout out to Dwayne Pearson. If you could get into the archives, he has, it was like July 85 he because that's Back to the Future. He's came got them somewhere. I guarantee it. But now, so, the reason he kept all those. Fun fact about this box that we're showing right here. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, somebody brought that in and sold it to me. They found it sitting out by the trash. By mm -hmm. the trash. By the trash. All right. So, you know, if you guys find stuff like that sitting on the side of the road by the trash, pick it up. I will buy it. Pick it up. I, I gave him good money for it. Oh, yeah. So if you've got a Rob the Robot it, box. It had, it had everything in it except for the Nintendo itself. All the robot was there and everything. And it was in the trash. And that's the probably you know you got tons of Nintendo. Oh yeah, the robot's harder to find. Robots yeah. the best part. As much so, as that game sucked to me, gyro mics I could barely figure it out as a kid. The that made Rob the Robot more valuable this oh, day because yeah. oh, yeah. no one wanted to play it. They wanted to play Mario. You had gyro mic. What was the other game? Stack them. You got stack them. Those are the only two games, games you could play with them. Yeah. And this was uh, third release. Or was this, this, was this, is right away. this was right away. This is before they released right Mario Brothers by itself. Okay. Because I was heartbroken that I didn't get Mario. 
So yeah, just, I, and I got those two games instead. Mine, Duck Hunt and was, Gyro Mine. Yep, later on it was the standard Mario Kart with Duck Hunt. St- standard Mario Mario Brothers Duck Hunt release. Yeah, Super yeah. Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. The, the one that's in here. Oh, yeah. It's in there. So the we, do have a, uh, we do have quite a few original consoles. Um, the other one I will mention, though, is we do have a couple uh, plug-and-play consoles, too. Oh, so yeah. I did pull this out. Um, these are a little bit easier to get going on. Um, I've got a mini Nintendo right now. It's being lent out to my brother so he can share that with the kids. During the quarantine. Of course, you know. Yeah. But uh, I've got a mini Super Nintendo as well. Um, might get to this one here eventually, but uh, they're called uh, plug and play consoles. Yeah, essentially just go home, plug them in right away. Any new TV, you're up and running. But uh, yeah, the Sega one's a good one too. So uh, we do have a lot of old consoles here. Um, pretty much every Nintendo console we've got. Nintendo, yeah. Super Nintendo, we've got a 64. If you wanna brush up on your GoldenEye skills. We got, so, we got controllers. Got controllers. William Ford wants to know if we have any Turbo Graphic 16 games. I don't think. Oh, I don't no. think we have any Turbo. We do Actually, have a uh, plug and play Coleco Vision. Yeah, there's a plug and play Coleco Vision over Actually, there. Actually, this yeah. this is actually going to uh, come in great because Turbo Graphics announced they are doing a plug and play. Yep, they no, are doing a awesome. plug and play Perfect. as well too. So yeah, that will be the next mini console with the uh, games. All right, in this segment, it's going to be... Jason Krause watching. Hey, hey Jason. 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 Up late. This, uh, these are Nintendo games here. Mark is going to review these based on the reason we liked these throughout history. Okay? If I played them. If you played them, you're going to give us the reason these were big. And I'm going to give you some turds, too, the ones oh, I I'm sure. There's a, there's a turd or two in here. In there. There's a turd or two in here. Of, uh, baseball Stars, S and K. Why did we love Baseball, baseball Stars? Baseball Stars, one of the best uh, sports games. Uh, the biggest reason, uh, a couple of reasons. One, you could save, uh, which was pretty pretty big deal at the time. Uh, also had an all female team called yep, the, the Lovely Club. Ladies. Very good. Uh, they also uh, it also had a money aspect to it. Yep, um, a little cheat that we'd use yep, down, yep. right, left, down, 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 right, up. Hit it, and, and then you had to change the name of the team. Yep, X amount of dollars, but yep. uh, yeah, this was one of the best. It still holds up. I know my brother's playing this right now. Eric says playing it nonstop. Yeah, right. there he is, right on cue. So uh, <laughs> he says thanks for the NES, Mark. Yep, yep. absolutely. Baseball Get him through uh, quarantine. His kids uh, absolutely love it, which uh, shows you that uh, what we're 30 years, 35 years right. later now, so and right. uh, it says still he's on. On level 20 of Dr. Mario on high speed. Nice. That's, Nerd. that's a challenge. Well, you know, he's coming to the right place. So. Yeah, he's coming yeah, to the right place. The right place. Compared, but, uh, compared to what the graphics are now, yeah. now kids are getting, now getting into the older stuff and are so used to being wild before K graphics. Right. Oh, yeah. You can, oh, you can still play that so one. Better. You can still yeah. play that one. Got the day. original Tope yep. softball team. You know. We used to make our, because you could name your players, so that was unheard of, so we'd name all our guys. I was always one of the better talents. I was a fan of bases loaded. That's coming up. At the, uh, you know, I think we set the record for most fights in D-League softball. So if there's, any, softball. if there's any kind of good thing that has come out of this COVID thing, mm-hmm. it's that I've heard a lot of parents are getting their kids into this stuff. Yeah, right. You know, into the old video it. game systems. They're digging them out. Well, nowadays, it's kind of like movies. Uh, Video games, you know, like I said, this was done by one guy in six weeks, E.T. Now you've got dedicated teams to working on games. and really, Six to ten years. Yeah, and you get the same, you know, Call of Duty every year. You get at least one or two of them. Uh, Rockstar think, brings out a game every three years. So. Yeah, I mean, it's you get, uh, you get dedicated you get teams, and they kind of stick with the, uh, the sure money makers, kind of like movies. So uh, they don't want to take too many chances anymore. So you won't, you know. GTA, that was a big one back in the What's day. So, uh, bases loaded. They ended. Up, they did do four of them. But uh, why was why was the first one? See, never got into base. Uh, Rex, do you remember why the first base loaded was so good? What could you do in it? Uh, you could uh, beam them. Yeah, if you got hit by the pitch, you could charge okay. them out. Okay, yeah. You could take it out you there. Who was on bases loaded like three? Who was that? Ryan Sandberg. You, you had to do it a certain amount of times, yep. and then the computer would just get, you know. Charge the mound on you take the edge. Kind of like so, Blades of Steel where you could fight right. in it, and that was a big deal. So, so every well, time that I was playing yeah. the good teams, I'd throw it at their best Blade, hitters until they charged the mound to get ejected. Blades of Steel, you could act, it was actually, you know, An shown that you could do that. But uh, bases loaded, Kinda the like computer a, chose to win. To do it. Do oh, okay. All right, I have a question for the video game guy. Why are some of the Nintendo games black? Uh, so oh. Tengen did it. There are a lot of uh, these are considered unlicensed games. Uh, Tengen did quite a few of them. That's why they look different. 
uh, back in the 80s, uh, early 90s. Uh, it's kind of like the Wild West with video games. I mean, it would be kind of like the equivalent of uh, Xbox making making games that you could play on PlayStation. Right. Uh, people were making all sorts of companies made Atari games. Uh, religious companies started making like Bible, Bible. verses, right. Atari games, and stuff like right. that. There is like a Moses Nintendo game. Uh, so you know you could pretty much get away with whatever you wanted back then, uh, and then that's why Nintendo was so successful. Is they always had to have uh, the Nintendo seal of approval on every game. Yeah, they only work with uh, certified uh, companies. So. Right. See, that's what that's why we asked the video game guy. I didn't know why their games were black. And, yeah. I just played them. Uh, unlicensed, and that's why they look different. But the, uh, the other big game was Tetris. Tetris. We got it. Ten, ten as well. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's review Skater Die. <laughs> Over, oh. Overrated game, Skater Die. Oh, oh, no. everybody, everybody wanted this game because I you know for it. some reason. Uh, Ultra, not a lot of people know Ultra, I just mentioned. So uh, companies like Konami, that was a big one. Uh, so they didn't get, uh, you know, so many games on the market. Nintendo would only let certain a certain number of games be made. Uh, Ultra is actually an offshoot of Konami. Okay. Uh, that's how they got more games. Um, Ultra also made Mission Impossible, which is a really tough game. Uh, remember Jared and Eric playing that one back in the day. Uh, Shout out Jared Fawn. Jared Fawn. Uh, and then... Uh, Skater uh, Die. TMNT. Skater Die, man. I, uh, Ninja Turtles was also uh, an ultra game as well. So, All right. We're, you're a wrestling fan oh, yeah. and a Nintendo fan. This is a good one. There it is. Wrestlemania. The Aquanium Wrestlemania game. Um, it, graphics, yeah, they're pretty rough. Uh, gameplay is a little rough, but it's also a great game. Um, you play as the Million Dollar Man, Andre the Giant, yep. Hulk Hogan. Yep. Uh, this was the Macho Man, Randy wrestling. Savage. Uh, is basically every guy that you wanted in a video game. If you're a big wrestling fan, uh, I remember my cousins had that one. Uh, and for me, I never had a Nintendo growing up. Uh, so it was kind of uh, whenever I could play, it was uh, you just kind of took your took your part time when you could because uh, I wasn't yeah. always uh, my, as a younger brother. And a younger brother, I only got to watch uh, was, video games as well too. So <laughs> my wrestling game was pro wrestling. Pro wrestler, oh, sure. Too, Loved that game. Great. Just couldn't find it over there. Tag team wrestling. That's to bring it out. Yeah. So much. Joe Reynolds says TNC Surf was so much better. I love TNC, TNC Surf. Surf is a good one. Why do I hate Rad Racer? Why does he hate Rad Racer? <laughs> which is, I had a good question for you then, which might have the same answer. So Rad Racer was JD's, uh, uh, Jared's nice yeah. prize that he got. Yeah, um, for beating. Beating Mike Tyson, you could send in a... Uh, Photograph of you beating Mike Tyson, which was a challenge in itself to get a photograph. Right. And uh, this was your prize. You got a Send copy in the of Power. Rad Racer. You got a copy of Rad Racer. And uh, it was also in 3D if you hit the select button. Oh, which was God. pretty awful. I spent, I spent I seven know. months trying to beat Mike Tyson oh, yeah. to get Rad Racer. I, is that, I, uh, I have no idea about that. Yeah, this, no, is the, I, this is the one that you got was Rad Racer. Oh, uh, turd. It's, pretty, it's a pretty rough one to play. But that's why they were giving them away. Because no one was, no one was, was going to buy them. No one was going to buy them. So here's your reward for is beating that, Tyson. Is uh, that your greatest Nintendo achievement? Is Probably beating Mike Tyson, probably. Right. Speed speed runs on Mario I took pride in when I was a kid. Because yeah. I never did those yeah, yet. Not, not yet. Now they're under five I minutes. got to Minus World when I was like eight years old and no one even knew what that was. I, I cannot get past Soda Pop Game Speed. Uh, I, I, I remember when I was eight. I remember his, uh, <laughs> it did actually have a different name before yeah. Soda Pop Inski. It was uh, Vodka Drunk Inski. Yeah, and they uh, wouldn't. No, uh, couldn't put that on the game. They couldn't put that on there. You could put Mike Tyson's name on it, but not that. They didn't change any of the dialogue, though, so he still talks. <laughs> oh, that was before Tyson. Yeah. Uh, that was that pre, was pre, pre, pre yeah, no. that, trouble. That, that All right. Punch Out. That, yeah. That's, that was released twice, one without Mike Tyson. Yeah, uh, Super the, Punch Out. Uh, the one he was on, I think he only got paid $20,000. It was before he was actually World Heavyweight Champ. Yeah. Yeah. Was it really? Then, yeah. uh, because they, afterwards, he made, he would have made so much more money. Nintendo said, hey, we're not going to pay, you know, a million dollars to get this guy. They swapped him out with uh, Mr. Dream. So yep. <laughs> we do have a copy of Punch Out here. We've got a couple. So if you want to, that is a game that you're going to have to practice, though. 00737359636. That's Tyson's code. Yep. You go right to him. I had to do that for seven months is straight. The Konami code. You're yep. the, for the. How about down, down, left, right, left, right, BABA, BA, select, start. There you go. And Monster Party. Do you know anything about it? We found that's a that's a pick. I found that, that yesterday. I don't know about Monster Party. That's a tough one. So I never I got know. into it. Uh, Bandai's had mm, <laughs> Bandai has a couple weird games that's out nice there. I think they also made um, 
Fester's Quest. That was a that was a pretty <laughs> rough one too. Uh, and by the way, movies always got the shaft. Uh, movies, you never right. wanted to play a movie game. No. Uh, LJ ended a lot of them. They had an agreement with Universal and. Uh, the games were terrible. Yeah, Karate Kid was horrible, but I beat it. Uh, Jaws, horrible, but I beat it. How many games have you beat, Mark? Over 100 on Nintendo, so. I All right. Only 600 more to go. Games that changed my life. Bill Walsh College Football. One of the first, uh, if not the first, college football game. Right. Uh, my memory of one. this game, uh, sitting down in Jared Fawn's basement while the parents were upstairs watching Nebraska lose to yep. Arizona State. 17-0, yep. yeah, we, we just played Bill Walsh College football. So That uh, game, because you could beat Nebraska, we were dominant at we that time. We were good. We were pretty good. We, we ran the option. It was almost impossible to stop the option on that game. Sports games are probably the only thing I would condone getting a better version nowadays. Graphics, mm -hmm. game plays a lot better, but uh, yeah, back then, and we can't even play college football anymore, so. Right, you can't even do that because of licensing, so. Sam Keller ruined it for Sam Keller couldn't throw a ball, but he could sure ruin a game. Let's well, go a little further back. Let's see if Mark's ever played that one. <laughs> that is... Chase Chuck. the Chuck Wagon. I thought you were giving me a copy of uh, oh, uh, Custer's Revenge. I don't think we were selling <laughs> that in the store. That's an infamous title. Yeah, we haven't seen that one. That one's... Uh, my cousin actually had that game back... I asked him one time if he still had it, because uh, that's worth it's quite a It's actually one of the most rare it's games. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, we won't get into why that game's infamous, but uh, that game is uh, pretty infamous. Killer game. But... <laughs> It's uh, Ch Chase the Chuck Wagon. Uh, never played that one. This that, looks like uh, you. You had it was made by Purina. Oh jeez. And you had to mail <gasps> away. You Chuck had to Wagon mail away. Dog food. Yeah, right you had to label. mail away right from the dog food. food company Purina to get the game. Huh? And that was the only way you could get the Chase the Chuck Wagon. I, I doubt Atari even know they were making these. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're <laughs> saying. And that's why Atari's not around anymore. Yeah, that's, that's why Atari's not around anymore. That's why it's company. got a $100 price no, that's, that's a cool so, one, though. No, that's that's a cheap one. That is the first time in, you know, the 44 years I've been you know, around. I've never seen that. It's, it's the, the first one. Other than the copy we had when we were kids, I think that's the third one I've ever owned. Maybe fourth. Yeah, it is um, one, it's one of the grails of... Atari. Yeah. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty expensive Custer one. Revenge, Custer's Revenge. Uh, Chase the Chuck Wagon. Those are those are uh, nine and tens in the rarity. There were some Atari, you know, those Atari porn games. Those were. Yeah, there are uh, some. Yeah, there are some. There are some. some, 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 some risque. Oh, yeah. Risque. There are some for Nintendo too. Uh, risque. Uh, you mean, uh, you mean bath risque? Bath for right? Nintendo. Bubble bath. Have you beat that one? Uh, no, but I, it is on my uh, my console. That one I had never heard of. Bubble bath. It's basically uh, Tetris, but with. <laughs> bubble bath babes in the background. Okay, yeah. we'll we'll leave it at that. There, bubble bath babes. <laughs> I just think one of their more risky games I played. Go ahead and Google that. Leisure Suit Larry. Leisure Suit Larry. Is Everybody huge. played Everybody that. Everybody played that. On the Xbox. Oh, oh I played it on console. Yeah, console. Yeah, uh, I, I was on a computer yeah. console. Yeah, Leisure yeah. yeah. Suit Larry. I don't think you have your Atari. Unless my mom's watching, I never played that at all. Atari Christmas Club. Atari Christmas Club. You wanted to buy? Yeah, I found this at home. Oh. If you wanted to buy a computer with 48k RAM, you know that was a thing back then. So 48k, <laughs> only, huh? only it's a picture only now. Only 300 bucks. But, Eric uh, says hi, Mark from Nora. Oh, oh, my niece is watching. Mark's got a fan. Yeah, yeah. At least he has one. I do have, I do have one. There you go. That's all that matters. So, yep, found that at home. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but Atari did have a magazine. Uh, just like Nintendo Power did, uh, except that they ran it too late and they only got through about nine copies, uh, nine problem. nine issues. Um, I got them all, and they're pretty fun to look through. But uh, are yeah, those, are those sought after then? Or? Uh, no, I mean you can get them. The Atari they're, magazine? Not yeah. really. I we, mean, we had some. You, oh, I, I, I think those. Yeah. <laughs> I think Mark brought some. I think Mark brought some. Uh, 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 the only one that's really uh, worth anything that's kind of hard to find is the original one, very, um, number one. the very very yeah. first one, and kind of the last one. But uh, other than that, yeah, like I said, I only did nine. Nine issues. I think Nintendo Power made it well over. Nintendo Power, if you've got issue yeah, number one, in. I two, wore that two, thing two, out. Two, three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I wore that. Right I wore that out. Nintendo That's what Nintendo Power. Power was just, you know, back then you didn't have internet. No, yeah. that was my whole thing. That's how I learned to play video games. Word of mouth and Nintendo Power, or the Nintendo uh, Power the, Hotline. The Hotline. Yeah, like, I said, <laughs> who spent? Oh yeah. The, who spent eighty one dollars on the phone? I go to the neighbor's what? house and we we call them on their well, Ryan oh, yeah. Mike's phone. Oh yeah. Sage says hi. Oh okay. <laughs> Kids are tuning in. Shout out to my neighbor Ryan Van Dyke. We use your phone. Called. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did the same thing with my neighbor too. So. That, I used to sit at Richmond Gorman and hold court on the Nintendo. <laughs> the first into the power. Do it for free all day. Yeah. Poster, right? Got a poster in it, yeah. Uh, Most of Zelda. Yeah. Zelda. Uh, it was the Zelda map. I don't know if that was in the first one, but most uh, every Probably single, I think, uh, issue, you got some sort of poster which will hold out. Pain in the butt yeah. to get out, you know, because you didn't want to tear it. But didn't you didn't want to tear it. I remember it's getting that good. because I that was very important to me. 43 minutes? <laughs> we got to do our, we got to, you know what you're giving away? 756, you better get figuring out what we're uh, giving away Hayden, tonight. you got anything to add to this episode? Yeah, Hayden, what's... I, uh, I got a cool James Brown shirt. Do you like, we like cool t-shirts uh, around here? Because you should, too. <laughs> I wanted to show some really die-cast cool. cars tonight, too, and I didn't even get to it. I'm going to show a fake pop. Who, who says that we have to go less than an hour? Well, we don't have to, but we got to figure out what we're going to give we away. Gotta, we got to like Maybe Taylor's weapon. arms are getting tired. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is going to be a little bit because we got to do the numbers, right? Are we we got to run the numbers. numbers. Or should we do a trivia question? I love trivia. Oh. I have to think of a good one. All right, you guys, you guys find something to talk about. I'm going to come up with a trivia question. All right. Hours. You're going to come up with a trivia question? Why? Well, I've always had things to talk about. Are we doing the. Take a seat, Aiden. Aiden's in the front row today. Um, well, we can talk about uh, what I'd like to see from our people at home is I'd like you to start PMing me your mashup figures. So this right here is Prince Adam in a knockoff Ric Flair robe with a WWE announcer's microphone because he's about to shoot a shot here with the WCW championship on, Flair's old belt. But I'd like to see more mashup figures, the things you come up with on your own. PM us at Toys from the Past. You know, we'll put them up on our Facebook page, kind of show what our people at home are doing. Uh, the guy that bought stuff at our sale the other day, that was cool. He took that stuff straight home, put it in the collection, sent us pictures of Lucille. Of the, uh, oh, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucille, he took, uh, he got the... He, he got the, a good haul that day. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the horses. They're right here, the horses. This thing's horses. Valcat. Valcat. Yeah. You're old horses. and he man figure, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't construct him if you're on the clock somewhere at work. Right, you know, if you're on the if you're at work or something, yeah, it might not be appropriate to be making mashup E-Man figures. Oh, but, dude, we like we like to see anybody's uh, creations. So, it, and it's time to be creative. We this right here, talk about this, Aiden. Oh, this, thing is, that is well, well, you know what the brand is. What's the brand on it? It's from Mexico. It's a Mexican a wrestling figure. Right, and yeah. what I love about him, and you buy them in Mexico there. Yeah. I bought one actually. No Mine's one's very similar. No one looks the same, and they're all hand painted. Yeah, they're all hand painted. And they're pretty. So similar. you'll never get you one that would be the same. Yeah. It's the parka. Yeah. That's the wrestling. Yeah, the parka. Yeah. You gotta ask him. the the parka, and they're just yeah. it, his is different than mine. Yeah, mine has more of a glitter skull, and he's got real like arms, like skinny colored arms. Right? Yeah, I like these figures. So if you yeah, just do some mashups. You know, I mean, if you got stratas, you know, get him dressed up. You know. Contest. We, we should do a contest. Best matchup. I'd like that. Put it to a vote. We want GI Joe. We want we want tr any any matchup that you can do. I don't even care. We just want to see it. Star Wars. Put it to the Facebook group to find out who. Well, and I'm going to spend all week doing another matchup. I had it. Oh, I had it. Quiet over there, please, production week. assistant. I got my Castle Gray skull finished. Oh, all there right. you go, Rex Jaycox. The yeah, the three thousand five hundred and. Pieces of Castle Grey Skull. Assembled. Done. <laughs> Good. Finished. Done. Yes, it's done. The win. Three thousand five hundred eight pieces. Mm -hmm. It's either eight, eight or eighty. Yeah. We do have a lot of time on our hands right now. Oh, it took about a week and a half. You got too much time on my Once you got rolling, though. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I did. You know, throughout my evenings is just put that thing together. We also have a lot of puzzles. Yeah. Board games. Puzzles, board games are hot right now. Time during killers. This time. Just need time killers right now. Yeah, yeah we do. Here, the Henry Pop. We'll talk about him too. <laughs> you know what? You know what? What, what, what it would agree? All right. Yeah. Good. This is a good story here. Yeah. Now, Lila's eight years old. My daughter, and she was pricing pops yesterday, and we had, you know, Rex and I would priced them all weekend, and we had two hundred pops. Me uh too. -huh. Yep. Yeah, Ollie, Ollie priced oh, pops and hung them. Ollie did the whole display right there, that whole pop display. Ollie is the worker of the two. Yeah. So so anyway, she's going through and running all the numbers because we run the numbers. And she's like, this one's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know. <laughs> and she runs over and she's all happy. Like, this one's 
this, we're rich, you know. And, <laughs> you know, and I turned it around and I said, it's a fake. Yes. Now, the story behind the fake is uh, that was a good somebody, <laughs> somebody yeah. come, came in with uh, their pops. I was working that weekend, and uh, yep. um, I, I gave him the, the amount that uh, he brought in a lot, of, a lot of good pops. He actually did not realize yeah, this was a the knock on. The back of the pictures. And, um, you know, we, we, we did catch it. So we didn't lose money on it, but it just, it was a learning curve that, you know, we, we had no idea fake pop on exists. I did. But if there was a few uh, differences on there. From the you can see reflection in the eyes. You yeah. can see a reflection that it's a picture. So, so yeah, someone that just, was, it's a, that was a, it's a Photoshop. Sticker on the other, yeah. other sticker. That was a saving grace because the other pops that he had were, you know. I mean, this thing was too. so. I mean, it looks great too. Yeah. It looks. Sell it to you for ninety nine ninety nine. But it is for sale. It is for sale. <laughs> yeah, it is for sale, but not for ninety nine. We're not going to get rich. No, no. We're rich. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about is the. Uh, the Midwest Collectible Toy Show. It the first yes. the first one was uh, they're they're doing four shows this year. Uh, the first one was pushed back until when? Uh, the first one I think is going to be June, June or July. Now. June or July. Oh. So yeah, it was um, May third. So July nineteenth, September twenty seventh, November 29th, I believe those dates are still good. So September those guys 10th. there. Uh, yeah. It is still sold out. I know they, they had one open up and then somebody grabbed it right away. Yeah, yeah. and I will be there with uh, possibly Jared or Aiden. And yeah. We're going to rock yep. it just like we always do. We're set up there. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a giveaway. And because they are all Star Wars questions, yes. we are going to give away your choice of a 40th anniversary. Oh, we're giving away with a new. Oh. A brand new, brand new merch. So... Google people who don't know much Star Wars, be ready. They the, better be very tight. The first correct answer that comes through gets their first right, I'll pick. Monitor, I'll gets monitor. their first pick. How many people you got watching? Okay. 30. 30. In Down Return 30. of the Sith. Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Sorry. <laughs> what is the name of the Outer Rim planetoid where Luke and Leia were born? Mark's probably already got Does anybody it. Anybody here know it? Oh, yeah. See, I had no clue. Yeah, I... Is it? Do, do, I don't want to say it. Do we have any answers? <laughs> I feel like I know it. Let me, let me say it again. Most of these got it. Come on, Bo. In Revenge of the Sith, what is the name of the Outer Rim planetoid you knew Mark where Luke it. and Leia were born? First answer to come across. First correct answer. What the hell is incorrect? Oh, what we, come no, on, it's not Bespin. Come on, Jason Cross. Even Brandon Strait didn't win? know that one. No, it's not no, Mustafar. We're struggling over. I think I know that one's a good one. It's not Mustafar. No, it's, it's, it's not, not Alderaan. Alderaan. Hey, Troy got it. Sort of. There you uh, go. Oh, how do we do that? Troy spelled it wrong. But it was, uh, Joel got it. it. But it was, I'll give it to Troy. Always a controversy yeah, here. Yeah, always a controversy. Back to the toy store. It was Polis Massa. Uh, so, they, they both got it? Well, Troy, misspelled, Troy misspelled it. Troy misspelled it. He added a C. I'm going to blame that on the keyboard. So, Troy wins that one. Troy, got you down. All right. I grilled some Polis Massa this weekend. All right. So, <laughs> Troy, Troy Fetterson. Got it. Um, oh, awesome. and, and just so you know, if you don't live local to pick it up, you got to pay me like five bucks to ship this thing, so. <laughs> Brandon oh. wants you to curve the questions right into his wheelhouse if you could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe Ask me one that I know. Brandon, are you a Darth Maul fan? Stick to the original form. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what was, and I want the entire first line, it's four words. First line uttered by Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. Jeez. I told you, they were going to be tough. Jeez. I'm giving Stick stuff the away. Original trilogy here. Yeah. The, first one. the next one's original trilogy. People are breaking first out their line. Phantom Menace yeah, no. uh, VHSs yeah. right now. Yeah. First line uttered by Darth Maul in Phantom Menace. 
Which I believe yeah, is I his first line. Yeah, first line. It's about his Ever. only line, isn't it? Like, yeah. like in the movie. In the movie, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah just... Nothing yet. Hey, Phil. Isn't his first line right here, make sure the force is with you? No. <laughs> Not quite. First line uttered by Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. Yes, my That's master cool. is what Joel Reynolds said. Nope. I think I know what it is. At last we will have our revenge. Nope. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the to the Kedai. No, no, it is. Kedai. That's what I was thinking. I, I think he probably meant Kedai. Yeah. I know. J and K are pretty close right on the keyboard. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. If you see my thumbs, there, it's being, it's it covers the actually the keyboard. Yeah. Oh, sweet. No. No, Timothy, that wasn't it, but. Dang you, Google! <laughs> Come on, Google! Come on, guys! I know it's a tough one, but. That's what I thought it was. I figured it'd throw people off a little bit. First line uttered by Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. Hey, Beth, got it! Tatooine is sparsely populated. Oh! oh. Way to Beth go, Beth! Way to board. go, Beth! Oh, Troy, you were a little late. Brandon's writing a book. Yeah, I know. Keep them short. <laughs> I said it was four words. Come on, people, pay attention. I can't Pop read that script. much. All right. Now... For the last one, and this is original trilogy. All right. What holding sector did Admiral Akbar order Green Group to stick close to during the Death Star battle? Really specific here. <laughs> what holding <laughs> sector? <laughs> I told you I was going to come up with some doozies. Like the, what's the name? Is Chip of, on here? What's the name of Jabba's pet? Steve Bay? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> What holding sector did Admiral Akbar order Green Group to stick close to during the Death Star battle? You know, if Jason Lears was watching, Joe's We'd dad, clean it up. he oh, would right. answer every question. I think Jason with, Krause would have, too. Without look, Jason was watching. Krause is watching. Yeah. Okay, Dave Brown. What holding sector did Admiral Akbar order Green Group to stick close to during the Death Star battle. John Harris. John team. Harris, MV-7. There you oh, go. John, the top fan comes through. Top fan. He wins almost every week. He does. Who, who is that? John, John Harris. John Harris. Oh, yeah, John. Every time Wrestling I go live, fan. no matter where I'm at, what time it is, John's like almost the first one to pop up. Also, Just every time. <laughs> purchased uh, at our live show on Sunday, John yeah. purchased... Uh, Animal, the wrestling buddy. Oh, yeah. Had you had a good day on Sunday. Saturday or Saturday? Yeah. That was on Sunday. All right, guys, so some of, some uh, of you got you three that won. I think you're all local, right? Is Troy Federson local? Jeez, um, Mo's piling on now. A little late there, Mo. <laughs> Troy, Troy Federson, are you local? He says Jar Jar Rocks. I like it's him. Everybody is now <laughs> answering. Yeah, Everybody's second, now second answering. Worst, you're all yeah, too late. Second worst Disney character. <laughs> No. All right, so uh, the three people that won tonight, whenever you come <laughs> in, <laughs> John, uh, well, John knows how to get a hold of us. Yeah, you, yeah. you guys can just pick whichever one you want whenever you come in. Uh, I've got like 10 cases of Troy's, them Troy is local. Okay, perfect. I'm here 12 to 3, Monday through Friday. Sunday, are we doing a sale? Yeah, Sunday? two to four. Two to four this Sunday, we're doing a sale. I don't know if Rex is going to be here or not. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, I'll be here. So, uh, another thing I wanted to throw in before we say goodbye our ice cream shop scoops. We are reopening on Saturday. Woo! Uh, we're not going to have indoor seating. Scoops oh, right. We're going to be open one yeah, to eight, seven door. days a week for probably till June 1st, and then we'll probably go back to normal hours. Uh, we've got 54 different ice creams you can get hand scooped. Waffle cones, bowls. Uh, we've got mm, squares, shaved square ice, scoops. 50 some flavors of shaved ice. Cream. Yeah, square ice cream. Square ice cream. Square better. ice cream tastes better than. <laughs> better, better yeah. It's yeah. amazing. I've yeah. never seen anything like square ice cream. It's either. amazing what a shape will do to ice right. cream. Yeah. yeah. It tastes better. It intensifies. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It tastes better. There's gold in that ice cream. Best thanks is dipping Dots. Right. Did, I'm sorry that. Also, uh, sure. if you would like a custom Lego name tag, just go ahead and let us know. I'm doing commissions, and you will get your commission in under you know three months. Under three months, possibly. I mean, look at how hard I work on something like that. So I don't know. You know, look at this. This Rex Jayhawks right here. This took me two months, I think. But no, just. It's kind of fun with Legos during quarantine. Everybody has Legos around, so 
So let's make some name tags with them. See, I'm not paying you for that. I never asked. No, no. Okay. It's for the set. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I, I enjoy it. I think it's good. It's for the set. You know, we, we held on to 30-some plus viewers, up to 40-some viewers yeah. for an hour. Thanks for sticking, you know, Thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> square ice cream is edgy. I like that one. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, you guys saying sure. that you love the store. Thanks for doing this. You know, we love doing it because we're bored and we got nothing better to do. We planned on doing this for the last three or four years, at least, yeah. and I guess it just took a <laughs> pandemic for us <laughs> to get it together. <laughs> right. So, right. so we, 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 kept, we kept talking. That we we had the idea. Yeah, about four, about four. Or five we did years ago. about about four years ago. And, we were wanting uh, to do a blog, uh, not a blog, but a at least at least video something. Blog. Yeah, a video blog, blog kind yeah. of thing. It's yeah. actually come out a lot better than what we imagined. We got. The best crew here. Yeah, this, um, is a, this is our group. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to thank all you guys who have been coming down and buying from me during this time. Everything you've purchased during this time and all the help that we're getting. Believe it or not, the store is surviving. We are going to pull through this. Uh, we didn't have to do any GoFundMes or anything like that. Don't like asking for money that way. I want people to get something for their money. So. We appreciate everything you're doing, and we are going to come out of this a lot stronger. As far as opening, I believe Monday I'm going to officially open 12 to 3. Uh, just I'm here during that time, so we're going to turn the open sign on. I'm going to limit people. You walk in the door, you are going to put sanitizer on your hand. We're going to keep six feet apart. I'm actually going to limit it to about five people in the store at one time. So. We can do that on the Starting, we're, we're probably going to do that up until June 1st. Uh, we're, we're talking about weekend hours right now, so we're not sure exactly on weekend hours. I do want to start getting some. It won't be this weekend, but probably next weekend we'll have some weekend hours. We appreciate you guys, and you know, as long as you keep supporting us, we're going to be here. So Send up your mashup figures, too. Yeah. Mashup figures to PM, PM Toys for the Bass. Yeah. want to see what you guys are doing in your spare time, your collections, things like, things like that. We like seeing that stuff, so. Support a local business. Yep. Amazon's got enough purchases right now. Yes, we've got enough support, so. Appreciate all of you, yeah. friends, family. My sister is watching, my brother. Yep, coming soon. We're going to have an Instagram account. And yeah. Uh, we're going to get uh, maybe more Instagram. Maybe a, maybe a Snapchat going. No. We have I don't know what any of that is. <laughs> I barely know how to use Facebook. Come on, guys. Like Snapchats. We should get Instagram, you can go to Back to the Toy Store, and I believe it's already up there. Yeah, I haven't really done much to it, but hopefully we can start getting started. Oh, for our show? Yeah. Back to the Toy Store has an Instagram page? Yeah, we, we've had it for about two weeks. I haven't oh, nice. Uh, All right. Not even one follower. <laughs> well, nobody knew about nobody it. Nobody knew about it. So, Alright, oh right. we want to thank our cameraman Taylor for coming down. Yep. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, Taylor. He's thank a great you. cameraman. I had so many compliments last week. I did too. How man. smooth it was. Yeah. So uh, we appreciate you. And uh, we will see you guys next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Thanks, That's awesome. Yeah. You're going to set one up.